Once upon a time, there was a village named Rampur, and in that village, there lived three friends named Sugand, Arvind, and Gopal. They had been together since childhood. They used to go to school together and play together. Hey, after school, let's go to Raju's garden to pick mangoes today. What? Raju's garden? If he sees us, he'll kick us out. No, no. I am afraid of him. I am not going to go. So, how will you get the mangoes if you are afraid of him? Life must be full of adventures, but we don't have any such things here. Plucking mangoes from the garden and eating them could be a good adventure. Yeah, bro. If we go quietly, he would not even know. Isn't it wrong to steal something which is not ours? Oh ho! What are you saying? If you want, you can come with us. Otherwise, we both will go and bring lot of mangoes from there. No, no, I will come too. So those three stole mangoes from Raju's garden and sat under a tree and started eating mangoes. In the meantime, Nitin, who was the neighbor of Gopal, came there while running. Hey, Gopal, your father is struggling with a life and death situation. What are you doing here? Come with me. Your father wants to see you. Hearing such words, Gopal ran to his house. Gopal's mother had passed away when he was very young. Since then, Gopal's father Ramchand was taking care of him alone. He never got married. He had a small business, and with that he raised Gopal. But one day, while doing his work, he slipped and got bedridden forever. Dad, what happened to you? Dad, oh Gopal, you have come since your mother passed away. I somehow managed to raise you, but now I don't have much to give. I am sad to leave you alone like this. Please forgive me, my son. If I did something wrong with you, you will forgive me, right? Don't say that, Dad. If you don't, who will look after me? Don't be sad. I couldn't do anything for you, but now I am giving you this wealth, which I have earned by working hard throughout my life. Take it. Go to the town and earn some money. If we don't have money. We don't have identity, so make money and be careful of con men. Be a good man and live your life," said Ramchand, and put a little money in his son's hand that he had with him and died. Gopal's friends, who were deeply saddened by the sudden death of their friend's father, came to console Gopal. "Don't be sad, Gopal. You have all of us with you." Sugand. I can't be with you like before. As father said, I have to go to the city and find some work to earn money. Oh, Gopal, what are you saying? You have not completed your studies yet, and now, what will you do to earn money? I don't know, Arvind. But if I live here, father's money will drain out in a few days only. Then there will be nothing for me to eat. So I have no other option except leaving. Okay then, as you wish. But don't forget us. After going there, we will wait for you to come back. We will miss you a lot. Whenever I would be, after earning money, I will definitely come back to you. After talking to his friends and with the amount given by his father, Gopal started his journey towards the town. Sugand, we lost a good friend. Yes. In all this rush, I forgot to tell you something. I am also going to a nearby village with my father. I will continue my studies there, and I will help my father in his business. Yeah, we all are getting separated at the same time. What a fate! Will try to come to me whenever possible. Sure, Arvind. From that day, all three—Gopal, Sugand, and Arvind—got indulged into their works too much. With the small amount of money given by his father, Gopal did a small business and earned crores within a few years. As the time passed, he forgot the promise given to his friends. Later, he got married to a girl named Gauri and started a happy family. Then, after a few years, then one day, listen, tomorrow there is a wedding ceremony of my childhood friend. We both have to go. Oh yeah, let's go. Where is it going to be? It is in Rampur village. There is a banquet hall. They said, especially made for marriages. What? Which city did you say? Didn't you hear? I said Rampur. What Rampur, Gauri? That is the town where I was born. I have my childhood friends there. 
When Gopal heard the name of the town, immediately he remembered his childhood memories. His friends Sugan and Arvind also came to his mind. Gopal told Gauri all about the childhood memories and told her all about the friends also. When are we going? Okay, then we sure have to go. You can also meet your childhood friends there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I can't wait. On the very next day, Gopal reached Rampur with his wife Gauri. Leaving Gauri with her friend, Gopal said that he was going to meet his friends and left from there. First, he went to Arvind's place in that village. Reaching the place, Gopal saw the house and got an idea that Arvind is very rich and started waiting outside for Arvind. Knowing that Gopal has come to see him, Arvind came out of his house. Hey Gopal, you have changed so much. I didn't recognize you. It's been a long time since we met. So good to see you. Where had you been? Oh, what to tell you? Since the day I left from here, I was very indulged in work. Start some small business and due to God's grace, I got profit in each of them and I could spare no time for me. So it took a long to me to come here. That's the thing. By the way, how are you? I have property of crores given by my grandfather and father, so I am happily living with that. I don't have any problem here. Oh, that's great. Seeing you like this, I am very happy. Well, where is Sugand and how is he doing? He, when you left the village, he also had gone to a neighboring village with his father. Since then, we never met. Oh, okay then. Let's meet him together. But I am very happy today because I met you. They both were very happy to meet each other. They spent some time together by remembering their childhood memories. And after taking lunch, Gopal got ready to leave. He told Arvind, Okay, now I must take a leave. I dropped my wife at her friend's house. I have to go. She's getting late. On the way, I'll meet Sugan too. Okay? Oh, really? Then why did you come alone? Why did you bring your wife along? Actually, she had her friend's wedding today. That's why she didn't come. But whenever you come to the city, do come to our house. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, I will come for sure, Gopal. If you meet Sugand, tell him that I was asking about him. Arvind showed all his wealth and property and provided him with a warm hospitality and said bye to Gopal. On the way, Gopal went to Sugand's house. Seeing Sugand's house, Gopal got an idea that he was living in poverty. Seeing Gopal standing near the house, Sugand came out and said, Who? Gopal? How long has it been? How are you? I am fine. But how did you become like this? You had too much wealth in our childhood. What are you talking about? As long as my father was there, it was good. I started facing loss in my business and gradually all our money were dissolved. And here's the situation as you are seeing. Oh, it seems that there had been a big loss. How did you survive? Let it be. Come with me for a while. I'll explain to you about my business. Those are profitable. In this way, you may recover your losses in some extent. I'll definitely come. I need a lot. But don't discuss it now. Leave it. Tell me what are you doing now? Both of them talked for a while about their childhood memories. After that, Gopal left from Sugan's house and came back to Gauri. Hey, Gauri. What happened? Did you meet your old friends? You said that you will come back in a while. But what took you so long? You know, here all my friends were asking about you at the wedding. Oh, I am sorry. Forgive me, Gauri. I met my friends after so long. That's why we lost in the conversation and I forgot about you. Okay, never mind. I understand. Now let's go home. It's about time. Okay, okay, come. Let's go. Gopal and Gauri left from there to their home in the city. After a few days passed, Sugan came to Gopal's house. He was amazed to see such a big house. Oh, Sugand, welcome. I am very happy that you come here. I was waiting for you. Here, she is my wife, Gauri. Hello, Gauri. How are you? Yes, I am fine. It's very hot outside. Will you have some soda? You must be thirsty. Yes, please. Why not? Gauri went to kitchen to bring the soda. Later, Sugand started seeing Gopal's house. What's the matter? You have earned well. Your house is very beautiful. Ah, uh, it's not so, Sugand. Right now, 
माई बिजनेस इज इन लॉसेस जस्ट सम हाउ आई एम मैनेजिंग इट आर यू ओके I heard that you have earned so much wealth. It's nothing like that actually. I have equal debts as that of my assets. If I sell all my assets, then only I can settle my debts. But hence, I'll be left with nothing. Oh no! I thought only I was in trouble, but didn't expect the same for you. All these things are regular. I'll tell you the main reason for calling here. I brought you here because I have seen your situation with my own eyes. In childhood, I remember how rich your family used to be. and it is very natural to have loss in any business it can be for any reason let me help you with some money so that you can start your business again so that you can help you and your family what do you think you yourself in a debt then how will you help me gopal it is nothing so and anyways i am not giving you this for free take these 10000 rupees and start a profitable business and pay off my debts whenever you have really I am so lucky that I have a friend like you Gopal. I will be indebted to you. I'll do some business with this money and clear your debt soon. Meanwhile, Gauri came back with soda. Come on, have it my friend. Have it brother. I'm going to cook your favorite brinjal curry for lunch. I know it's your favorite. So nice of you, but I'll leave today. No, that is not fair brother. Please spend at least two more days with your childhood friend. You both just met. Yeah, Gopal. Stay here for two days. Why in so hurry? Sugan couldn't say no as they were insisting too much. He stayed there for two more days. Spending two days happily, Sugan returned home with ten thousand rupees given by Gopal. Hey, Gauri, what is it? But I did not understand. Why did you lie to your friend that we are in debt? Oh, that. Wait for few days. You'll come to know why I lied to him. What? I am not getting whatever you are saying. Wait, soon you will get it. After some days, Arvind also visited Gopal's house. Arvind had more wealth than Gopal. He was very happy to see Gopal. After seeing Gopal's house, he said, "What's up, Gopal? You earn so well, then why are you living in such a small house? Huh? After seeing all this, I don't think you should live here." Oh, Arvind, it's true that I have earned crores. But after coming into this house, I got very lucky and earned crores in business. That's why I am staying here and don't want to leave this house. Oh, so you believe in luck? Well, but it is not suiting your status. Yeah, I know it. There is a one thousand acre mango grove nearby. I have built a large mansion in that orchid. There, I have kept all the luxuries and facilities. I keep going there with my family. However, I have also started a new diamond business, and I am keep going in all that. Oh, great! Seeing you like this, I am very happy, Gopal. You had a hard childhood. I mean, my grandparents had everything, so I am enjoying it. But your case was different. With the little money given by your father, you made all this. You have earned it by yourself. You are really great businessman. I thought all the wealth given by my father will be enough for me, but now I'll also do some business like you. Oh great you have planned so well thank you gopal meanwhile gauri comes there with a glass of juice hey this is arvin and here's my wife gauri namaste bhaiya oh hello how are you have this juice i made it for you my husband told me that you like it oh he remembered that great great so how about you is he bothering you if my brother bothers you anyway let me know i'll fix him no no In fact he keeps talking about you people in childhood how you guys used to steal mangoes from the mango grove and oh that thing it means it means he told everything to you then i'll make a move now what no please sit you can go tomorrow no i had work in town i thought of seeing you in the middle so i came here i saw you and i am really happy now i'll come and stay for a week but next time okay as you wish Arvind decided not to stay back and just stay there for a while. After spending some time together like that, Arvind left. After he left, Gauri came to Gopal and told him, "Listen, I have a small doubt. When Sugandh came, you said you were in debt and lowered your status and presented before him. And when Arvind visited, you said that you are in a very good position, more than what you have. Why did you do that? What is the reason? Why did you have to lie to both of them?" Oh that 
Sugandh came as a guest to our house. So I observed that he compared his status with me and felt bad when he thinks that we are experiencing all the pleasures. His pain and sorrow may get doubled. He may feel low and not be able to have fun with me in these two days. That's why I made my small problems as problems big and sad. He wanted him to think that I was facing problems too. Therefore, Sugand was very comfortable with me those days. I gave him ten thousand, hoping as a friend that he should come up. After all, they are my friends. Oh, good. But for Sugan, you lied to make him comfortable. But why did you lie to Arvind also? I did not understand that. Arvind is a millionaire. There is a possibility of looking down on us. So to make our position bigger, I said that we are having higher standard than him, and I told him everything. What you have said is good, but aren't you lying to your friends? Isn't that wrong? I haven't done anything wrong here, and I have not cheated anyone. I did not do anything that could harm them by using some decency I made both of them live happily I did it without causing any harm to them telling a lie for the sake of others happily is not that bad What you said is true but on the other hand because of the help you gave by lying to Sugan did not get discouraged by his hardship and started a new business On the other hand Arvin thinking that his friend is better than him he wants to be better than you so that he can reach a higher standard and start working hard to increase his existing assets really you're very smart and you are a true friend what you have planned for your friends is very clever i am very proud of you don't praise me that much over the time sugan started his own business and it turned out to be very successful he finally could settle gopal's debt also arvin also became more persistent and expanded his business that all happened because of the lie that gopal told to his friends this is why our elders say that one good friend can change your life all of them were very rich now the three friends lived happily ever after please like and share the video if you like the story kindly subscribe to our new stories book channel for more stories